So moving up in the Kong API Gateway video series, we reach to the Correlation ID plugin by which we can add unique IDs for the requests that are sent through the Kong API Gateway. So if you want to learn more, stick with me. Hello and what's up guys, Medium Guy here. Hope you're enjoying the video series. It's been a long while since the last video that I've posted in this video series. And recently I noticed that there are some plugins that I haven't made videos about. So here we are again. And in this one, we're going to see about the correlation ID plugin in the Kong API gateway. So without any delay, let's get down to work. So as you can see, I am in the official Kong HQ documentation page for the correlation ID plugin. As it is stated over here, this plugin correlates requests and response using a unique ID transmitted over an HTTP header. So basically what it does is that it adds a unique ID for every request as an HTTP header that passes through the Kong API gateway. So this plugin is totally compatible with DBLS mode, which is the mode that we are trying to use in this video series. So I'll scroll down and in the enable globally tab and in the declarative YAML tab over here, I can find a very basic sample that I can copy paste to my configuration file give it a try to see what it really does to our requests so I'll copy this I'll switch to the VS code over here as you can see in my repository where I'll put all the files and configurations and everything that I create in my videos I have the Kong directory in which I've created a 2023 directory and in here I have a config directory plus a docker compose file and in the config directory I've got only one kong.yaml file which is the exact setup for the previous videos. So if we go to the docker compose file this is the exact same docker compose file in the previous videos which has only got one service using the kong latest image and only one volume that is exactly the same dot slash config directory mapped inside the container in a directory where in the environment variable section I've passed a kong declarative config and passed in exactly the same directory with the file name that exists inside the dot slash config directory and there are some other environment variables and also some ports that are mapped to this container so I'll be able to access this through the outside network of this container so if you want to learn more about these configurations and have to initially set up the Kong API gateway in Docker environment I've got the very first video of this video series where I'll put the link down below so if you want you can check it out and next I'll go to the kong.yaml which is the file that is mapped inside the container where it holds all the configurations for the Kong API gateway. So as always, I've got an echo server running on a random port. If I go to this URL in the browser, as you can see, it just echoes whatever request that it receives to the output. So going back to the official documentation, I'll just try to copy paste this sample that is over here and in my plugins section I'll paste it so as we can see the name of the plugin is provided over here which is correlation ID and the config for this is the header name generator and a call downstream so going back to the documentation here we can see all the available parameters that we can pass to this plugin so as we saw the name which is the correlation id in order to use this plugin and we've got things like header name over here which is the http header name to use for the correlation id so basically by passing the value for this key we will be able to 
define the custom header name that we want the correlation id to be as its value next we've got the generator which is the generator to use for the correlation id the values can be uuid uuid plus counter and the tracker so if i click on the generators over here the uuid generator will generate something like this the uuid plus counter will generate the exact same thing plus a counter at the end so as this stated over here this format will generate a single uuid per worker and it will append a counter to the uuid after a hash sign character or next we have the tracker format which will create something like this which is the combination of ip port pid the connection and the connection request timestamp so we're going to see all these in a short moment so with this sample configuration i'm just going to bring up my kong api gateway so we'll be able to see this in action so i'll save this file go to the terminal i'll hit ls to make sure i'm in the exact same location where the docker compose file exists the only thing i'll say docker compose up dash d and this will try to create a container and a network and attach that container to that network exposing the defined ports to the outside network also so if i say docker compose logs i'll be able to see the logs of the container that is created by this docker compose file and as i'm seeing over here things looking good i'll just go to the browser and make requests on port 8000 and slash echo so i'll basically add slash echo because i've passed the slash echo over here which will route the request to the echo server's ipn port so if i hit enter as you can see i'm getting the response from the upstream server which is the echo server and also i've got the kong request id header at the end so the first thing i'll try to change this and as its value we can see that we've got a uuid over here and the counter over here separated by a hash sign so if I hit refresh as you can see for every request the counter is adding up by one so next I'm going to make some changes in the plugin configuration so I'll remove the Kong dash from the header name in order to make some changes to see if it really applies to the header name and also I'll try to change this generator to the tracker and also we've got the echo downstream configuration over here and as it is stated in the documentation it is a boolean typed key which defines whether to echo the header back to the downstream or not so basically the downstream will be the client that is making the request so by default it is false and i'm going to leave it as it is so i'll save this file go to the terminal hit ctrl c and restart my container again go back to the browser localhost port 8000 slash echo and if i hit refresh as you can see the header name has changed to only the request id and as the value for the correlation id i've got the ip address port 8000 the process id and the connection and the request timestamp so this is how we add correlation id to our requests that are passed through the kong api gateway by simply making use of the correlation id plugin which is very straightforward no complications really i hope you learned something new in this one if you have any questions any recommendations go ahead and ask me in the comment section down below i'll put all the links also the repository link where you'll find the configuration files down below also don't forget to watch the other videos on this video series and on my channel and also don't forget to like and subscribe and with that i hope to see you in the next videos